guys welcome to my channel my name is Brittany and today I will be showing you how to style this wig this is R&B collections which are lace front synthetic wig called Biz I will link where I purchased it along with any other details in the description box if you're interested I already cut the lace off now I'm going to secure the wig down it has one small comb in the back two combs on the side and an elastic band I do like that you can pretty much part this hair anywhere and I was a little disappointed at how far back the parting space goes but we'll still make it work. Alright so let's get to styling. I'm taking my wide tooth comb to remove all the tangles. This wig does tangle really easily especially in the neck area but it is long and synthetic so what do you expect? Anyway, it's really, really soft and it has a nice silky texture. Like I said, this hair is really long. I'm 5'5 and it comes to my natural waistline. And by the way, I did not put these curls or layers in it. This is straight out of the package, guys. And I'm just in love with how full and bouncy this is. Now, let's pin her up and work on these edges. You can definitely wear this hair exactly how it comes. I think the construction of the lace is really well made. Like the hair looks like it was pre-plucked and if you cut it right, the hairline can look super realistic. But I'm gonna add in some baby hairs to manipulate the shape of the hairline a bit. I find this to really make it look like it's growing from my scalp. And so as you can see, I'm taking the smallest amount possible. You don't want them to be thick because then they look crazy and like you try it too hard. So you just wanna take a thin layer and I'm going to use an eyebrow razor to cut them down. You want to make sure you start long to avoid cutting them too short and with an up and down motion so they sort of have ragged ends. You can achieve this look with small scissors as well. Just try not to cut straight across because that gives the hair a blunt look instead of a layered effect which is what we want. And I'm starting off on the front side and working my way over in and down with motion so they're not the same length. And now to these sideburns. This is actually the first time on a wig where I'm creating sideburns and I chose to do them now because if you can't tell already, I have Elvis sideburns. Yeah, plus my natural hair is black and for this color, I didn't want any of my natural hair to show. Now I'm going in over my hairline in the same way just to thin it out a little so it's less bulky. Then I'm going to take my Got To Be Ultra Glued and spread that over the edges to lay down the baby hairs. And I find doing this with a small bristle brush gives me better control of where I want my baby hairs to lay. My strategy with baby hairs is to not overdo it. The less done they look, the more natural, so I try not to spend too much time on them. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not putting the glue along my hairline to lay the wig down, it's because it's synthetic, so I will not be sleeping in this, okay? Sleeping in your synthetic wig is a big no-no if you want it to last. Now after this, I regretted putting the glue on the actual hair on my sideburns because once it dried, they were really stiff. Instead, I did only put the glue on the lace part inside of where the sideburn hair is and laid it to my skin. And now that my edges are laid, I'm going to comb the hair back out. Usually I would wrap a scarf around my head for a minimum of 10 minutes to make them stick better, but I skipped it for the sake of this video. Here I decided to push some of the baby hairs back because I just didn't want them to cover up my entire hairline, if you know what I mean. Instead, it's like I'm reshaping the wig hairline to follow the shape of my natural hairline. And I like how you can see the root of the wig hair better on my edges. And this is how the hair looks pushed to the side. The curls and layers are really well defined and gorgeous. But I'm going to go for a middle part this time. I've been rocking a side part for a while now and I just want something different. So I'm going in with my rat tail comb to make my part. And it's super easy to do since it can be parted anywhere. And look at how natural that looks. This hair is kind of bulky at the top, but I'm going to go in with my flat iron later to try and flatten it. 
I'm just going to cut a few pieces of my baby hairs down that kept sticking out and that's just because I probably should have laid it down with a scarf but this should do the trick for now. So and now I'm going to take my flat iron. I'm not exactly sure where I got this from. I've had it for a while now but I'm going to use it to flatten the top out. And the box does say you can use heat on this hair up to 400 degrees but I have it on 370 just to be safe. I made the mistake of burning plastic hair before FYI. Now I don't know if that's really helping that much but hey it's not as bad as it was. I'm going to comb the hair back out again since it's back tangled and here's the finished look. Alright guys, this is it. If you have any questions about this wig or you just want to say something positive about this tutorial, please make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos like this. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You can also follow me on my Instagram and add me on Snapchat at BB024. And I thank you for watching. See you next time.